hi everyone welcome back so like i had promised i will be showing you a complete strategy now um, and we will be using the websocket so let us start and it's going to be a very simple strategy the idea is i'll show you how to create strategies which can be traded live and then you can obviously expand this uh, to more complex strategies so what i've done is i've actually just copied the same code that we had seen for websocket so as you can see this is exactly the same code and in uh, on connect let's say i want to run the strategy on tcs so i've only i'm only subscribing to tcs here and i'm not subscribing to anything else and i'm since i'm going to use the ltp data i'm only going to use the light mode um, the bulk of the strategy logic is written in on message because that is the place where we will keep getting the updated ltp so I'll talk about the strategy first. It's a very simple strategy. This is more like a breakout strategy. So let's say I want to buy the stock at this price. Let's say at 3301 or any price that you want. Let's say 3305. And then you have a stop loss level and you have a target level in mind. Let's say 3310. And you want to trade the strategy. So that's the general idea. And for this, I'm going to use one variable. It's going to be more like a flag, which I'm going to call in position where I have initially uh, put the value, I have initialized it to zero, which means I am ready to take the entry. But once the value of this becomes one, that means I can go for the exit. And once it becomes two, I will not be taking any more trades. So as we know, um, once we get the results, right, when once we get the message, we get a lot of information um, and um, we are only looking to get the LTP. So let me show it to you. I'm going to just do a console log here of the message and then I'm going to just return it. So if we run this code, you will see that uh, this is how the result looks like where we have the TCS, we have the LTP and we have some more information. All we are looking for is to get this LTP value. And that is why what I have done is I am using this const LTP equal to message.ltp. So I'm getting that in my LTP variable. Now, as you can see, sometimes your LTP variable might be undefined. So I'm just ignoring this undefined prices, which might happen, let's say, sometimes. And I'm just going to print out the current LTP. Now, this is where my strategy logic starts. So what I'm saying is if my in position is zero, that means I'm ready to take the trade. And the current LTP is more than the upper price, which is my level here, then I want to buy it. So I'm just going to print buy, but you can actually go ahead and take the order. So we already know how to place orders now. And once I do that, I'm going to make in position equal to one so that my variable gets updated to one, my flag gets updated to one so that I don't take re-entries. Um, once this in position becomes one, that means I, I've taken the entry. I have to check for either the stop loss getting hit or the target getting hit. Again, very straightforward. If LTP is less than the stop loss, that means my stop loss is hit. I'm going to uh, show that my stop loss is hit. Again, I can actually go ahead and take the trade. And I will make in position two because uh, I don't want to go for any more entries. And uh, LF, if LTP is more than the target, then I will just write target as hit. And I will put again in position equal to two. And this is how the complete strategy has been created. So let's run the code. As we can see, the current value is around 3300. And our entry level is around 3305. So it should not take the entry for some time. Let's quickly check it. So you can see it has started to give me the values of um, of TCS as I, as I said it's around 3300 right now. So obviously it will not take any entry so let's change it so I'm going to just stop it and let's probably make it 3300 and let's try to make a small stop loss of one point and a small target of one point so that we can see the entire functionality. Now let's run it again. And you can see it says buying at 3300.5 because that was the LTP. And now it is waiting for the stop loss getting hit or the target getting hit. So if it touches, let's say 3301 and you can see here, it touched 3301.35 and it did say target is hit and it took the selling trade also. So that is how we create strategies. The idea is we will do all the logic in this on message function because this is where we are getting the live LTP. So I hope this is clear. Thank you for joining. Um, see you in the next video.